We want to be closer to the customers. There are an enormous amount of conferences, international conferences, staged here in Armenia. There's a very well-connected, pretty vibrant community of high-tech and IT companies and professionals. So now we decided to create a customer support center in Armenia. What's it? The I think we are very comfortable at this point in the incubator. Uh, we just started. We got all the support we needed from the incubator. Can you put this in a step mode? Yes. We are working already together setting up a technology competence center in Armenia to enhance the professional education of engineering in Armenia. The higher the level of IT development of the country, the better we consider our mission being completed. So this is For private incubators and technoparks, it's still difficult and it's costly to pay so much attention on social sector and on education. But in this area, is there are a major success and major concept of the publicly assisted incubator project. The companies which are working in Armenia, especially with US partners or European partners, they are developing world-class products in Armenia. And to satisfy the needs of the companies, you should have also world-class education. So we decided to create centers of excellences. One of the problems which every startup facing in Armenia is human resource, how to get good developers. It's always high demand for web developers. And that's why together with DIF, we are creating supply uh, enough specialists to the market. You cannot create a company in a vacuum. And it's kind of Silicon Valley effect when you have uh, more companies in one place and you create more value out of the collaboration and networking and exchanging ideas. We already have two installations of our medical software. Before we started, they don't know even how many patients they have per day. And for every specialist, our system provides uh, complete records about the uh, medical history. It's localized to Armenian legislations and it will help hospitals to increase the service level to their patients and they will increase their profitability. We always consider our social impact of, of, of what we are doing, especially in Armenia. We have great disparity of income between the city of Yerevan and the Fujits. 90% of the business and skill development is concentrated in the capital. So we created the first pilot project center for ICT development in Gyumri. Why Gyumri? Because Gyumri suffered a lot from the earthquake. I am one of the survivors of earthquake. I was at the university and part of the building just collapsed. There was only 20 seconds and just part of your life is gone. Uh, the, your friends are gone and Looking at the buildings, everything rubble, and for 10 years you don't see much change. Obviously, you don't have to believe in that something better or positive will be in this region. That was overall the psychological impact to our community. <laughs> We give them free education, but they, in return, they have to stay in the region for two years after graduation and uh, help to rebuild the community. The challenge was to also bring IT companies back here so students put their education into practice. The whole idea is that our students will be ready for those companies that are willing to come open branches here. And in 2006, year after the establishment, two companies opened their branches here. Out of 17 graduates, currently 15 are employed. You see, if we have financial support and if there is belief and there is willing of people to put their efforts in this, this will work. We have it. This country should become a place for global businesses and investments to feel comfortable. And we have this potential. We have been living in this region, dealing with Russians, Europeans, Arabs, Asians for centuries. And it's time to bring back this strength. We cannot survive in this environment without such a model as incubators and technopark. These are the right instruments for the countries building their future on the technology and their human capacity. We already have 
five consecutive years double-digit economic growth. And the most important thing today is to keep this pace.